Hello, hello everyone. So let's see if I can make it full screen. Yeah, okay. Hi, so today is the uh, episode on uh, the Buried Pyramid. Now, there is a, uh, a lot to, to uncover today and uh, follow, follow me up. Uh, don't forget to like the video and su subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, let's start. So second cat, second cat, we don't know if it was the brother or the son of Joser. And uh, what we know is that he reigned for like eight years, uh, basically. So he haven't got much time uh, to build his pyramid, but he started it, but he unfinished. So he unfinished? <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't finish. And uh, this is very important because it really reveals uh, a lot about the building process. So... This is uh, second cat uh, depicted in a relief found in the Sinai mountains. And you can see him in a, with the white crown and the red crown. And as I said, like we don't know much about this guy. Uh, as, as much, you know, also like we don't know much about the third dynasty in general, uh, Pharaohs. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a trend. Uh, this is what he did, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is what he managed to to build, and uh, but is, there is way more uh, that I'm gonna show you uh, very soon. So um, this was the first pyramid that was planned as a pyramid, uh, because uh, as far as we know, the Djoser pyramid was born as a mastaba, and this was supposed to be eight meters taller than the pyramid of Djoser, so 70 meters in total, and had seven steps, uh, where the Djoser one had six. Um, when uh, Zakaria Gonaim uh, in 1952 uh, excavated the site, he thought that this pyramid was untouched. So imagine uh, 46,000, ah, 40, ah, sorry, 46 centuries of uh, mysteries could have been there. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the story there in a moment um, there were inside of the chamber of the burial chamber there was found uh, the first and the oldest golden treasure of ancient Egypt and it consists of a few bra like gold bracelets <laughs> I'll show you very soon this pyramid possibly was built by Imhotep uh, as well uh, because the actually the, the name of Imhotep was found in a, in the pyramid uh, as a, as a graffiti, and then uh, the there was a sarcophagus that I'm gonna find that, that, that I'm gonna show you very soon. There is still the sarcophagus there, and I will tell you the story very soon. And uh, the basically this pyramid is actually the first. That was uh, be, like the first big discovery from an Egyptian archaeologist, uh, from a local archaeologist. So because normally were the French or the English discovering stuff and Europeans in general. But since now, Egypt, will, you know, Zakaria was one of the biggest uh, archaeologists, uh, like names of archaeology from Egypt. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit cold today, so I'm sorry, but yeah, it's a little bit cold too. Uh, these days and, uh, and yeah so some that there are some graffitis on the enclosure walls that um, w we know that the builders of the, of the pyramid uh, left so that's also nice and guy we have a super mysterious mysterious two years old boy found in a coffin in the south tomb of this pyramid so I'll show you very soon I mean, I, sh I hope this nose is not gonna bother you guys. <laughs> so this is Zakaria Gonaim, and uh, you know he's this guy. <laughs> and uh, so the, the story about this guy is uh, it's the following. So he discovered the pyramid and he uh, excavated it, and he found he, he thought it was uh, sealed, and he thought uh, nobody entered before him. So he went inside and discovered even and discovered the sarcophagus. And it was like, oh my god, now we got a sarcophagus, 46 centuries old. We gotta open it. 
<laughs> so basically they they prepared everything they were like even reading the Quran and uh, like they, they did everything they invited the president which is actually one of these guys here in this picture uh, Nasser actually the president Nasser and uh, <laughs> they were all there with the press they opened the sarcophagus and then empty <laughs> <laughs> they found the sarcophagus was empty uh, it kind of sucks and uh, so but the story Zakaria it's um, there is a story about him that uh, basically some people claim like some people accused him to have robbed uh, some treasure and uh, um, Lauer, John Philip Lauer, um, defended him and actually found the objects that some that the people accused him to to have robbed. Uh, and, and he found it in the in Saqqara, so he, the, the the object w was there. Nobody was stealing it, and uh, but it was too late. Uh, Zakaria dropped himself in the Nile, and uh, so yeah, so sad story. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like ancient Egypt, right? <laughs> it keeps, uh, he, you know, one of, yeah, I mean, it's a sad story. And, um, but, uh, but this discovery of Zakaria, it's a legendary discovery. So this is what, uh, I mean, I'm super thankful for, Jack for Zakaria work. So this is what he found, uh, back in 1952. This is the entrance of the substructure. And uh, you see there is a lot of rubble there and stones. And he ex excavated all of this and entered the, the actual burial chamber. This is actually not, this is an arch. And, ah, no arch in ancient Egypt. Boom, third dynasty, an arch. So, just saying. And uh, this is the entrance uh, where the, this was thought to be like a sealed door. And, but apparently John Philip Lauer suspected already that this was an a, a later um, a, a later like kind of you know ceiling um, so so yeah so it was not probably not original this is a, a little bit of the treasure that I found and this is a series of bracelets um, which is gold pure gold <laughs> so they haven't actually found just the, the, the bracelets, they also found like um, like an openable um, shell, gold shell. It's amazing, you can just search for it, it's amazing. I didn't put it in the presentation, sorry guys. But yeah, it's, it's actually beautiful. These are the galleries that are, uh, when, you, when you go down in the entrance, there are, there is like a little door, like a little passage to to the east and then a little tunnel and then that, that tunnel leads into a u-shaped 150 meters plus chambers um, it's just crazy i'm gonna show you the plan soon this is the burial chamber as he found it so this will be like the entrance and uh, this is the sarcophagus as, as he found it and you can see, right, it's a uh, alabaster, it's uh, made with one single block of stone <laughs> and was uh, excavated all inside, plus the, 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 that has, there was like a door here and uh, it was openable, like uh, sliding, so it's crazy. You can see here, right, when it was opened. And also here on top, you can see, they, they were thought to be flowers, but uh, apparently they, uh, it was like wooden. And this is how it looks nowadays. So you have this underground uh, excavated part, and then you go down in the in the, in the burial chambers. Um, this is the white wall. So it's like the enclosure wall, and this is also why we can date the pyramids to the third dynasty because it's peculiar to that dynasty to build in stone and with niched palace facade kind of fashion. And in this wall, there were found the graffitis. So the old complex uh, started with a pyramid and then it got uh, enlarged to match with the, the Djoser proportions. Uh, it's, uh, it's not north oriented, it's north-west oriented, it's like 11 degrees. And it's actually similar to the Gizra el Mudir, which is just to the, just to the west of, uh, of this pyramid. Now, as you can see, 
you have the entrance here then the tunnel goes down like six, 60 meters and uh, and then you have this small tunnel that leads into a secondary series of 136 small chambers <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> and then this goes down to the to the to the burial uh, chamber when you have an unfinished burial chamber as you as you saw right so and also they they found this was jean philippe lauer that found the south tomb uh, is it was supposed to be like a mastaba, like Joser one, uh, although it's very much close to the pyramid, and uh, it's more close to the pyramid than the one of Joser. And uh, inside of here, they found a, a wooden coffin with a two years old boy inside. Now we, I haven't found any information about the guy. Uh, yeah, but it's also quite, quite, quite interesting. Um, so this is the section. And you can see there was a like a retaining wall, the enclosure wall, you know, and then this would be the original entrance, uh, and um, this is where they found the um, the the door actually. And one curious thing is that here there is this, this shaft, vertical shaft, leading leading uh, leading to the second kind of step of the pyramid now. I actually don't know why it was done. Uh, maybe they could drop here like a stone to close the whole space once once it was fi once everything was done. But I don't know. Uh, but this is a feature that we saw already in Mastabas before, so it's not a new thing. But yeah, it's still something that uh, is mysterious to me. And you can see here, this is like the small uh, tunnel that leads to the galleries there 136 galleries here and then the whole tunnel goes down so actually i'm not sure like it doesn't go down 60 meters here this is not 60 meters 60 meters is the actual um, length is like this length oh it's all carved into the bedrock and uh, the only thing that we have as a masonry is actually this part here the inclined uh, stones uh, that we saw already in the, in the step pyramids of Djoser as a technique to actually, you know, uh, help the structure to be more stable. Now the whole thing is not visitable at the moment, uh, it's because, you know, it's a uh, earthquake uh, kind of, it's a seismic area, so, you know, it's there, it's dangerous uh, to, be, to, to be there. It's a shame because it would be amazing to just go there and, and see this mysterious sarcophagus because, you know, you open a sarcophagus that is 4,600 years old and then <laughs> nothing is inside, it's like, wow. <laughs> imagine how happy he was and imagine how disappointed he was later on. So there is a there is actually the, like a legend that when, when, when they discovered it, they actually started to like dance uh, and stuff down there with the locals. So it would be a, quite of a epic moment. <laughs> Uh, this is the sarcophagus how it looks today and uh, I, the whole thing you know the whole thing is really not uh, as a, like a stable um, place and uh, so the sarcophagus this is also like a protection I think this is a protection that they put it to cover the wooden pieces found there from stones that could fall from the ceiling and uh, and also you know, it's it's not uh, an easy tomb to go there. Um, it, it's just because of the earthquakes, right? Uh, Sakara, it's uh, it's a beautiful place and it's an amazing place, but it's also a dangerous place. Uh, so things can just fall, you know. Allora, uh, we have here a big question. Uh, I found on YouTube the Ancient Egypt post podcast and it uh, was amazing. And I'm really thankful for Dominique, actually the name of the guy. Follow him. And uh, he spoke about a ramp that was found on site. Now, I haven't found any, any ramp on, on site. I haven't found any, like even from Google, or even from original pictures from Zakaria himself, I haven't found uh, the evidence of the ramp. So I really would like uh, to, you know, 
Uh, if anybody can help, <laughs> that would be nice because I really need to find the ramp. <laughs> because that proves how they built the pyramid or how they were building the pyramids back then. So if anybody can find this ramp, please then reach out to me. Uh, so we, what is the building sequence? We, I, we don't, we, you know, we, we're not sure. So what we know for sure at this point is that yes, they were starting by excavating and building at the same time. Okay, so they were, you know, simultaneously. As they did the shard in London, they were excavating the ground and then they were building the skyscraper at the same time. So, like, Renzo Piano did nothing new. Okay, respect for Renzo, anyway. And um, let's go back to the questions. And, uh, yeah, so one thing to consider is that, yeah, uh, apparently they took, it took eight years to, f you know, to build this. <laughs> And it took 20 to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now, you know, you tell me how much of this makes sense. Uh, but uh, but it's okay. Like, uh, it's okay. This is the best we got. And I'm very... Um, uh, how do you say? Um, apolog no, apologetic, no. Uh, well, I'm very happy that our archaeologists gives us as much information as they, as they, as they can. So... But yeah, I mean, eight years to build an unfinished pyramid and 20 to, to build the biggest monument on Earth is like... Yeah, well, you know. But okay, I mean, yeah, there are a lot of questions still about this pyramid and I hope you you can reach out to me with your questions and uh, if you have any theory about uh, the ramp, please let me know because uh, it's, it is supposed to have been found on the west part of the pyramid. So if you go on Google Earth, zoom in and let me know where is the ramp because I didn't find it and yeah next week we will do Sanakt so this guy is the third king of the third dynasty probably the son of uh, second cat and he did it, under his reign there was this crazy big amazing Mastaba uh, Mastaba K1 uh, which I'm gonna show you next week so yeah Without further ado, let's have a good week, and I hope, uh, yeah, I hope you watch the last Joser uh, episode about the Step Pyramid. And uh, yeah, bye bye.